Hi, uh, my name is Flanagan B and I make photograph. My style of photography is it's very short based on curiosity. I'll do as many research as I can before I start taking photographs so that I have a proper answer and also a proper statement should I say a proper word to explain why should that kind of photograph I start, I love portraits since I was childhood I love to look at my parents and my grandparents photograph especially when it comes to people or portrait because every time I touch that photograph I always feel that uh, there's a heartbeat or there's a, the photograph is still alive so every time I hold I always feel that my nerve suddenly go into my heart or my brain cell. I think that's where I learn about portraiture. I'm not a big fan of landscape because somehow you if I shoot a normal landscape and try to beautify it in Photoshop somehow it will be misinterpreted. I started like photograph since I was childhood but I started to take photos in 2005. That's where I'm not take some series photo, I only take snap photos. So I go everywhere. I shoot my friends, I shoot flowers, I also shoot my pets. Yes. So it's a very. Most of the photos, I still have the photos and it brings lots of memories how I start my first photograph. My aim now is to be a professional photographer in Japan and also hopefully I can work there as a portraiture and editorial photographer I don't know how long hopefully I can work there for quite long 20-30 years and once I, maybe once I get fed up or miss my hometown I eventually move to other place maybe to US or to Europe or come back forward to Sabah. I hope the photography in Sabah or in Kota Kinabalu will be more matured or there's a scene, there's a photography scene is alive where everyone have their own style or where everyone where they were got recognized by overseas maybe not overseas but in West Malaysia. So this exhibition is an uh, absurd photo art exhibition mm -hmm. where <coughs> Raw Art Gallery is the first independent photo art gallery in Sabah also maybe the first proper photo exhibition in Sabah where the pro art owner showcase one of the best 10 photographers who are from Sabah who are Sabahan yeah. <coughs> So there's a 10, usually the most famous one is the wedding photographer and also uh, wildlife or landscape photographers, they're very related with tourism. So when it comes to culture and identity, they do have, like for example like my work, but I, there's not much recognition because, maybe because they don't know, the audience or the people who come here didn't know much about the history of photography. Yeah. The episode 100, I decided to choose uh, portraiture, black and white. The title is Nudokraga, where you see a Sabah native dressing the full costume of their own representative tribe. Yeah. Why I choose the name Nudokraga? So everyone asks me, so that's me, you don't know the history of Sabah. Yeah. <laughs> So, Nunuk Ragam basically means the, red, the big red banyan tree and that's where I start to develop this project before I think about portraiture. So, 100 years ago there's no, I, I believe I haven't find a proper history book yet that the word Dusun Kalazan 
haven't appeared or didn't use. So they only use like the Tidong from uh, Kota Belud, the Lotut from Tuana, or Dusun Pinampang, uh, say Dusun area, Dusun Kampong, or even Murut, they have different type of Murut, but I'm not sure Murut uh, under the Nuburaga or not, or they are Dayak, so I didn't put the Murut, for, the Murut costume here. So you can see, oh, they're wearing a full costume, and <coughs> I feel sad that uh, Sabah Archive or Sabah Museum, they didn't really document the revolution of uh, Nunukragam people costume, like from how they went the originally to the 70s, to the 80s, to 90s, and now we are in the 10 years of the millennium century. Yeah. If you have a chance, I'll show you my work one by face to face. So you can see there's a confusion, really confused in uh, in this costume because this uh, motif come from Tuala uh, Nautu, but the lady is from Kota Bodo wearing a full costume of uh, Tido Kota Bodo in, for example, like this. Yeah. So, so as for my job as a photographer, I try to document in a portraiture way and also it's a long term and up, uh, ongoing portrait, portraiture project. So, I'm not sure how, I'm gonna, how am I going to find this kind of real people in their full costume, but I'll try my best to capture their image in a clean way so that not only for myself, not only for Sabahan people, but for the world to do some research about Sabah native costume in Nukragam. So of course now there's still a little bit confusion about the name since we really use Dusun and Kadazan because of political reason and during the colonization. Yeah. So I still prefer to use my, my, my portraiture project name as Dununukragam. That's where all the originality, originality comes from and the first civilization for Sabah native people or indigenous people coming soon. So keep on following my work for Nunukragam and hopefully I can continue it until I continue this forever to see the revolution of the costume and also the face structure of Sabah native. That's part of my work. So.